because there's a different dynamic between with the like the men and the women. Like if you look at across sports with like the Serena Williams was, situation in, in tennis, she where lost to the two hundredth, like he was two hundred third, two hundred third guy. She right. lost. And she said out of her, she, she said herself, she would not be able her to. Ass and what's crazy is you have people who don't necessarily know the sport, and they would argue. I think there was a, um, there was a man. Uh, I think he was, he might, he was European for sure, and he was number one at one point. And they were making the argument, and he was, the, he stood on his square like, no, I would wipe the floor with this person. I'm like, oh no, you're a sex. I'm like, wait a minute, sir, wait, are, are we, are we? Like listening to what's being said, this yeah. is the number one men's player in the world. It's not sexist you see, to say uh, that he would be able to beat this has been the number argument, one women. Argument it's, since the beginning of time. Right, right, right. It's it's every single time it's like played out in the very rare instances it played out. Men have wiped the floor with the women. Right. And it's not a bad thing. It's just like, that's just what men, men are good at fucking sports. Right. That's the one thing they're good at. And there's a physical dynamic no, no, here, too. Here's your crazy one. The fucking uh, boys soccer team. Yeah, yeah, the under 15, olds, yeah. Under 15 played the women's national team, the one that won the fucking gold medal. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be the, the greatest team ever. Didn't they beat them like seven to zero or four to zero? Oh, no, five to two. Five, five to, to two. two. But they're under 15. Under 15. Under 15 right. beat the women's yeah. national team. But that's the, the nature. Okay, uh, another one. There was a, a boxer. I think oh, he, Clarissa, um, he, he boxed uh, Clarissa Shields. Yeah, Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields has never been dropped. Mm -hmm. She's a dog. Right. She's arguably one of the best women, women boxers, pound mm -hmm. for pound. Gets dropped by some dude, and he's not even like a, a crazy ring guy. Like this guy would fight like a like a I don't know average boxer get get mopped. Drop Clarissa Shields, who's never been dropped before. Mm -hmm. So you you're gonna look at all of these examples, right? And there's no way you could just be like, yo, there's another one. Um, Everyone, uh, Brittany Griner. Yeah, with uh, she Demarcus, could Cousins. Demarcus Cousins. And they're asking players, they're like, who you got? Everyone's like, Demarcus Cousins. Right. Like, Even her college coach is yeah, like, the oh, coach I put like, the house. Like, <laughs> if, if they were going to play and there were no referees, yep. You're getting I bullied. would take everything I have. I would sell my house. I would take everything and put it on Demarcus Cousins. Right. 100%. It's, it's silly to say otherwise, bro. Because, every like, come on now. That's the, because you would have to legit, and, and this is why and the conversation. Hate, what I hate, though, is because people will be like, well, Amanda Nunez would kick your ass. I'm like, well, I'm sure exactly. she would. Exactly, but if you fuck? were to, if you were to fight somebody who fights, that's where the dynamic is completely changed. Like, even yeah. in track, you take the fastest woman in track, you look at her fastest time. It's you got like high schoolers shit. who are running Shout that. Out, yeah. It's, and, and the, the, the biggest issue that I have with it is, like, you can't insult our intelligence. Because anybody with a brain would look at him and be like, all right, cool. You you can be the best woman. And that's not there's no issue with being the best woman in this physical, you know, sport. Don't make it seem like because because you're at this level. Now you're better than this person here who's yeah. the best at the male level. It's the WNBA versus the NBA. Yeah. The, you take a look at like a dunk contest. I'll never forget where Candace Parker won in <laughs> 2004 against J.R. Smith. Well, you look at the missed dunks that J.R. Smith had. Yeah. They were better than the made dunks that she yeah. had. So when you say, oh, she wins the dunk contest, it's like, great, she won. But anybody who's watching, come they, on. They talk about this pay gap in women's sports all the time, yeah. right? And it's like... One, it's unfortunate. I'm mm -hmm. not going to be like, oh, it sucks. But like, it, it's unfortunate. But at the same time, it's like, it's less fun to watch. I'm trying to see LeBron dunk from the free throw line. Yep. And how many, like, and how many butts are in the seats to where, like, even when you look at, like, marketability. Because yeah. before we even taped, I was talking about how I think in women's sports, the biggest issue that exists there is they don't market it the right way. Because you market it in a way to where it's like, all right, we'll just compare you to the dudes. It'll never well, no, work that even, way. Even women's combat sports. Mm -hmm. I look at women's combat sports and I'm kind of like, some are real good fights. I'm like, oh, this is a great fight. But you don't have that visceral, explosive, like, knockout that you see with men. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves that fucking boom and it shatters their jaw. They fall. It looks like they fucking die. Right. People watch fights for that. Mm -hmm. When women fight, like there are knockouts, but it's usually like a stoppage, like the girl fall. It's never like sweet. It's not as vicious. Like I think Nunez to a certain degree when when cause she was beating people like whether it had oh, yeah, unanimous decision, well. but she was also beating the shit out of people. Cause they, when when Ronda Rousey was coming up early two thousand tens, she had the marketability was like, yo, this is box office. I wanna see I wanna see her go. Yeah. I think there's a different level of viciousness when you watch it and it's a blood sport. Yeah. Right? It's like Coliseum. With other sports like with swimming with tennis, with uh, uh, um, basketball. There's a certain level of the way that you should want to market it, which I think with WNBA, you if, you lower, like the, if you lower the rims by a foot to where now they're able to dunk. If no, you but, got... But so my friend argued mm, that too. Right. Lower the rims a foot, 
but what would be the difference with that? Like, sure, you lower the rims, but then people are not leaving the floor like that. The part of the, the well, yeah, because you don't have that vertical part, yeah. jump. But I'm t if you put it to where, let's say, if it was eight feet, and damn near all the girls on a basic level would be able to dunk. Well, maybe not so much basic level. If you have a heightened level of athleticism, you'd be able to dunk. If a woman does the between the legs, under the legs dunk, or you dunk on somebody, no, you get a poster on somebody. Although it's not to the same level that the dudes are, people would be more willing no, to go and want, buy in. People want to watch things because they can't do it right that's what makes right. it awesome so like with women's basketball you know because so many people can do what they do right they might not be as skilled but just strictly from an athletic perspective they lower it to eight feet i could throw i could throw a fucking uh east bay like fucking yeah but you also foot. have to have the excitement portion i think that's one of the things that they struggle at because it's like with basic basketball if you watch a men's game you watch a women's game there's an athleticism gap that's there yeah. if i now were to lower the rim to where your peak level of athleticism can be activated here it becomes a much more entertaining mm -hmm. view for the I, casual viewer now a basketball purist would be like oh well you know this is no, no, I, it's I a lower realm i disagree in general it comes down I, to it comes yeah. down to the entertainment I think, level no, I, think I think that's it for it me is, i disagree with that just because like i said if it's a lower rim people they see and they're kind of like it's cool because they're doing this stuff but they're not jumping as high i could do that you know it's like watching if you watch a someone do like the cool part about seeing all these guys do is like wow that's amazing there's an amazement factor right with women's sports it's not really amazing you know who's box office women's basketball caitlin clark yeah that College, girl, yeah. she yeah, dropped 60 and she hit a three from fucking what, super far away mm -hmm. to win the game. Like it's like a 40 footer three yeah, to win yeah, the she, game. Yeah, game winner, buzzer beater. There's men that can't do that. Right. So I think that style of play is what brings. Well, yeah, because she has she has basketball. the current she has like the current but, kind of game to where it can translate. Like exactly. even Sabrina Inescu, um, she was like the hand picked you know, next Kobe yeah. for like the women's basketball or whatever. And she plays at that level. Like they was just in the WNBA championship. They mm -hmm. lost, but they were there and they have a team that you want to go and you want to go and watch. But there's a, there's a level of, you know, athleticism that's required to be able to get to that level. Yeah. But the, Average WNBA player probably couldn't beat yeah. the best high school men's basketball player. Right. So I think if because that's a gap that exists there, because you know if you're going to watch basketball, if you want to watch the best, you go to a men's game versus going to the women's game because I mean, there's I mean, that the, natural I think dynamic. That's the point of sports, no, it is, but because there's that dynamic, I think if you were to go and you lower the rim, and now you have an opportunity to where that entertainment factor can get active. Because I think ultimately the casual viewer just wants to be entertained. The purest of who loves the sport is going to want to know the X's and O's of everything. So because that's the case, I think you, you, you're at a you're, you're in a situation where you got to figure out which one well, matters okay. more. I think the, the hard part with WNBA, right? Mm -hmm. There's not what, like I don't even watch all the NBA games. Why would I watch any WNBA game? <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. I love it. It's, it's true. That's like, the thing. It's like there's 82 fucking NBA games. If I wanted to watch, uh, if I wanted to watch basketball, I just put on a men's game. There's zero reason for me to watch a women's game. I could watch people do it on a higher rim. Let's say they lowered the rim. Uh -huh. I could watch people do a higher rim, mm -hmm. faster uh, style, jump higher. Mm -hmm. It's pointless for me to watch a WNBA but game. That's even, the issue that they're in. Right. But but then my thing is, if you were to put that rim. A little lower, just a little lower. But and now the men would these girls, no, the men, no, it's not even to compete with the men. It's just to make a better product. Because now, I, if you okay. got these girls jump, they so, windmilling so I'm, and dunking. I'm thinking like how to fix it. I don't think it's right, fixable. Right, because it's no, it's not there's fixable no, yeah. for where it is because you know they're not the best bikini. at the craft. Bikini basketball. No, it, that's how you fix no, it. No, because it would it would, it would work the only to a certain degree because the women they tried it with um the LFL with the lingerie football league, oh, okay. and although it was incredibly aesthetically pleasing for the douchebag reasons, it still wasn't the same level of you know viciousness yeah, that you got from you the NFL because if you watched for football purposes you didn't really care to watch if you watch for All the right, douchebag so reasons the sports, it makes sense <laughs> right I mean you could sports. you could <laughs> it would definitely because the, the vast majority no. of people who support women's sports is men not yeah. necessarily women yeah. but still in general, yeah. you're, you're, you're at a point where if you want to market it the right way you have to figure out ways to maximize on their level of athleticism like I, with track and field I think track and field Tennis and 
women's soccer to a certain degree has the level of marketability to where people will still pay money and want to go see it. even with like women's gymnastics is sensational oh it's crazy yeah absolutely sensational okay, great example. Name, name a male gymnast couldn't tell you but the female ones couldn't tell so you. i guarantee if we look at the numbers for like the can you look that up david yeah. look up the the like uh highest paid gymnast mm -hmm. in the world if it's men i think there's something wrong with that I right. think there's something wrong with that because they don't bring no eyeballs, they don't bring no money. I'm almost assuming the, the most, the highest paid gymnasts are women. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. those are the most popular ones. Right. Look, one, a, one, of the, one of the top five women a man, on NIL sexist. deals. It's sexist if a man is the highest paid gymnast. Because gym, I think any time that you've seen gymnasts, it's like, dude. Yeah, yeah, from um, LSU. Boom, boom. She's top five right now there in um, NIL deals. In college. What else we got? Next two are Susanna Lee and Simone Biles. So, yep. so point sense. proven. Wait, hold on. D Dune makes more than Simone Biles right now? I believe so. Good she, God. I mean, she's she got the social college. media. She got the social right, media. Right, right. That makes sense. Simone Biles is eighth highest paid female athlete. Right. Bro, makes sense. Makes so, sense. So that's my point. You're going to look up gymnasts. Yep. It's all women. Yep. You know why? Because no one wants to see a dude flip when a girl could do four more flips in the sky. Exactly. So it, it's not like all a... It depends on their level of athleticism. Exactly. So you can't argue about... Oh, the pay. It's not the pay. It's the talent or the, the capability. 